screen is visible? Yes, ma'am. So, uh, today's topic will be factors affecting teaching. Okay. So, these factors can affect teaching either in a positive way or in a negative way. So, we will see. Now, factors affecting teaching. There are a number of factors that can affect teaching. These factors are teacher's attitude, learner's attitude, the support materials. Okay, so these are the factors which can affect the teaching. In support materials, there are PPTs, PowerPoint presentation, charts, models, marker, that is teaching aids. Okay, and in the traditional classroom, this uh, marker was the chalk. Teacher used chalk to teach. Next is instructional facilities, method of teaching, that is teacher-centered, learner-centered, team teaching like which method teacher is using for delivering the instructions related to some content okay next is teaching learning environment institutional or administrative setup economic factors classroom management teacher training or experience so we will discuss the factors under these headings so the factors that uh, can affect teaching will come, we will study under these subheadings. Okay. Now the first is teacher's attitude. Teaching is an art. And remember one thing, teaching is an art as well as a science. Okay. This was some assertion reason question in a previous year question. Teaching is an art and quality of teaching depends on the dedication, the love and devotion of the teacher towards the subject. Sorry. Teachers' lack of confidence due to poor conceptual clarity may severely affect teaching. If a teacher is not um, confident about the content he or she is delivering, suppose a teacher having expertise in maths, teaching English. So it's obvious, it's obvious that the teacher will not feel confident while teaching English. So if a teacher is lacking confidence in teaching, okay, due to poor conceptual clarity, may affect teaching negatively. Okay, to make teaching effective and productive, following attitudes can be developed by a teacher. Physical, mental, and emotional aspects should be given adequate weightage in developing teachers' attitude. For example, the beard thing. Bachelor of Education, like in India, Bachelor of Education is a professional education that is exclusively for teachers, okay? So in this course, this is a professional degree. In this degree, teachers are trained uh, in, accordance, in accordance to uh, physical, mental, and emotional aspects, okay? But they, train, they are trained to uh, teach the students how they deal with the children, so these all these all things are taught in the BA, Bachelor of Education thing. And I think nowadays Bachelor of Education is mandatory for a teacher if you want to teach in a in a higher secondary school. BA is must. Okay. So this is how a teacher's attitude can affect the teaching. So any doubt in this thing? Teacher's attitude? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Next is learner's attitude. Like everything is going good, teacher is teaching in the class, okay, with, with the help of proper teaching aids, but the student is not play, uh, paying attention in the class, then the, the learning will not happen. So how effective learning, uh, how the learner's attitude is helpful in teaching? Effective learning can help in the following ways, like more intensity of teaching, more retention. More retention means to remember more what is being taught, to able to to able to recall the things, to reproduce the things. Joyful learning, more scope for cognitive development, mental development. 
ओके सेल्फ डायरेक्टेड लर्निंग सेल्फ मोटिवेशन फॉर फर्दर लर्निंग लर्नर्स एटीट्यूड इफेक्ट टीचिंग टीचिंग लर्नर्स एफेक्ट एटीट्यूड इफेक्ट टीचिंग लर्निंग प्रोसेस इन नंबर ऑफ वेज लाइक हाउ द एटीट्यूड ऑफ टीच लर्नर इज वेन द टीचर इज टीचिंग द क्लास डिस्टर्बिंग और नेगेटिव एटीट्यूड ऑफ पीपल इंटरप्ट द लर्निंग प्रोसेस नॉट ओनली फॉर हिम बट द टीचर एंड द होल क्लास ऑल्सो ओके फॉर क्रिएटिंग अवरी टीचिंग इन्वॉर्मेंट लर्नर्स पार्टिसिपेटिव एटीट्यूड इज मस्ट सपोज अ टीचर कंसिडर अ सनारियो फॉर टीचर इज टीचिंग इन द क्लास एंड लर्नर इज नॉट पेइंग अटेंशन ओके नीदर नीदर द लर्नर इज पेइंग अटेंशन नॉर ही इज पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन द क्लास सो दिस इज self a discouragement for the teacher and the whole class as well like this then this would be a one way communication teacher is teaching in the class and the learners are just sitting in the class okay they are not contributing they are not engaging actively in the class so this is a negative attitude that affect the uh, teaching negatively okay regressive manner this is a regressive manner so for a lively teaching environment learners participative attitude is must qualities and trait of learners such as their level of intelligence their attitude their learning styles like either they are comfortable in the teacher centered method or they are comfortable in the learner centered method aptitude their readiness to take risk etc can impact the way they learn okay so either they can ask with these points or they can ask this in assertion reason type question like uh, learners attitude the assertion can be the learners attitude uh, can affect the teaching okay this is assertion and the in reason they can add some more point and they can ask question like this also okay and they can ask the qualities of the learners that can affect the teaching learning process okay in that way the question can be asked from this particular heading learners attitude clear ma'am yes, yes ma'am what is this more retention please explain it again more retention means if something is being taught in the class and the very next day if the teacher is asking for that okay then if the learner uh, if the learner like uh, have studied that well in the class he or she will be able to reproduce that with the property of retention like if i come in the class and if i ask you know that what we have studied in the previous class and you just told me that ma'am we have studied this and that in the class so this is your retention due to which you are able to tell me that what you have studied in the previous class okay so if the if the retention property is not there in the learner so it will affect the learning negatively clear yes ma'am no one more thing ma'am more scope of cognitive development can you explain it again like cognitive development means to uh, develop the mental abilities of the learner okay like abilities can be different physical 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 activities can be there and all type of activities but here what it what is need to be developed that is um mental abilities okay means ma'am learner uh, so develop itself for cognitive development means learner yes so like like the learner the learner is uh, working on the uh, like uh, what what you can bifurcate what are the abilities and you can differentiate with the um, thinking abilities from the other other abilities of the learner okay to engage in the class to uh, like uh, participate in the class these type of things okay ma'am means learner should uh, develop himself or herself by this um, development yes like the um you can say the reasoning things the reasoning qualities of uh, themselves and the memory associated with uh, something okay so these things you can uh, consider in the mental abilities 
राइट ओके तो एनी डाउट एनी डाउट इन दिस लाइट नो मैम ओके सपोर्ट मटीरियल इज वेरी इसेंशियल विच इफेक्ट टीचिंग लर्निंग प्रोसेस इट इज इम्पोर्टेंट रिसोर्स इट इज रिसोर्स इन टीचिंग ओके सपोर्ट मटीरियल इंक्लूड टेक्सट बुक्स लाइक इन द ट्रेडिशनल क्लास रूम वॉट आर द सपोर्ट मटीरियल दीज आर द मटीरियल दैट हेल्प द टीचर इन एक्सप्लेनिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट okay so support material includes textbook magazines the generals periodicals practice questions teacher solution manual etc okay so support materials make the teaching more effective and if i am saying that effective teaching it means that teaching in which the learning uh, the learning is uh, very optimum okay the learning is happening at it, its extreme so that is the effective teaching okay teaching can be of many type itself but effective teaching means when the learning is at its extreme level so that is effective teaching and these support materials helps uh, helps in the learning to be like more optimum to be more like more potential learning happens with the help of support materials the support material aim to support teachers students in achieving the learning outcomes of any subjects we have seen that before coming into the class a teacher does their planning okay like some predetermined goals are there we have discussed in the first or second class okay like learning and the predetermined goals hand in hand to hand right so these are the support materials like uh, for our class the support material is powerpoint presentation and the internet okay so these are the support materials if i am taking the class i'm taking the class when on the like google meet or zoom app anything like that and if i'm not having my ppt so delivering the uh, lecture to you it's a difficult task for me it will be a difficult task for me because how if i am saying something here it is written so you are able to read read that thing and if no powerpoint is no powerpoint presentation is there it will be very difficult for me so here ppt is making my presentation uh, my teaching effective okay so these support materials are uh, aim to support the teachers and the students in achieving the learning outcomes of the subject right then uh, any doubt from support material no ma'am okay the next is instructional facilities it assist an instructor in teaching learning process they supplement teaching methods and themselves not as self supporting as they supplement teaching method and are themselves not as self supportive as teaching method see this line is very important instructional facilities just supplement the teaching methods they add value to the teaching method okay and are themselves not as self supporting as teaching method it means that if we compare the instructional facilities with the teaching method uh, so the teaching method is at higher spot okay and instructional facilities just supplement them instructional facilities plays a great role in effective teaching learning process these facilities include tv radio tape recorder projector film strips internet and so on okay so these are the instructional facilities they are the teaching methods are primary the instructional facilities are secondary they just add the teaching it's itself clear any doubt
टीचिंग लर्निंग एनवायरमेंट टू क्रिएट अ गुड टीचिंग लर्निंग एनवायरमेंट बोथ द साइकोलॉजिकल एंड इंस्ट्रक्शनल पर्सपेक्टिव शुड बी टेकन इनटू अकाउंट इफ इन एन इफेक्टिव टीचिंग द लर्निंग एनवायरमेंट इन द इफेक्टिव टीचिंग एंड लर्निंग एनवायरमेंट बोथ द टीचर्स एंड द स्टूडेंट प्ले एन इंपॉर्टेंट रोल teaching a learning environment is a diverse platform where users engage and interact to learn new skills while learners can learn in an array of setting the term refers to more preferred and accurate alternative to traditional classroom like you can say that classroom communication is always informal you agree with this thing or not that class classroom communication is always informal if you want to ask anything with the with the teacher okay you just raise your hand and ask directly there is no hierarchy like you don't have to write a letter to the teacher that i i am having a problem in this topic and i need to study this okay so there is not there is no such thing like that so the classroom communication is always informal so the teaching learning environment the environment in which the teaching and learning is happening uh, can add to effective teaching okay this thing is clear yes ji the next is institutional or administrative setup like uh, in in the formal education like in the classroom type education so in your school there is there is some administration that is different from the teaching staff okay so how is the administration how is the institutional setup okay that also affect the uh, teaching like administrative setup with variety and freedom of choice for teachers like the administration should be enough uh, like uh, um, they are they, they can they should provide freedom of choice for teachers that they don't just uh, you know dictate the teachers that you have to teach this in the class you have to teach that in the class they have to provide certain level of freedom to the teachers in order to generate a healthy teaching environment okay they they should not exert much pressure on the teacher they just give free hand to the teachers that they deal with the learners with at, at their own level right so administrative setup with variety and freedom of choice to 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 the teacher freedom of choice to the teacher okay generates a healthy teaching environment teachers are free to prepare their lesson plans and use variety of teaching aids okay they should give a free hand to teachers in teaching process administrative discipline discipline of institutions should be followed we are not saying that that they uh, the administrative staff should compromise with the discipline it is clear that in the teaching process the discipline of the institution should be followed okay while the administrative pressure should be avoided they are not saying that the discipline of institutions should be compromised it is clear that discipline of the institution should be followed while the pressure should be avoided the unnecessary pressure on the teachers should be avoided administrative setup of the institutions should be designed in such manner so that a balance of relationship okay balance of relationship between the teacher student is well man maintained it is clear any doubt in this slide no ma'am next is teachers training teacher training is a continuous process as learning is a continuous process so teaching uh, teacher training is a continuous process that enhances teachers training skill help help the teachers to master new knowledge develop proficiency which uh, will help to improve students learning training will help the teacher to understand various domains of learner and plan lessons and teacher accordingly here um, to understand various domains of learner means to address the individual differences okay 
so the training to the teacher help the teacher to plan uh, lessons and the teacher accordingly okay so any doubt no ma'am so these are the points under which the factors affecting teaching is discussed and the questions are asked from these these uh, subheadings factors affect in in factors affecting teaching there are these points okay and the i have just uh, mark them with black ink because these are not in your syllabus okay but these can affect the teaching but these are not in your syllabus so the chance of questions from here is like nil questions are asked from these topics right now for uh, the question the first import uh, here it is important okay it's just mistype the this is wrong the first important step in teaching is maybe ma'am a b ma'am i think uh, we have discussed a question of this type uh, like uh, the options were different but the language was different but what they want to say in the option is the same thing here if we look into this option planning beforehand what does it mean planning before planning means there must be some predetermined goals right so planning beforehand i have told you that while teaching the the predetermined goals some aim that the teacher want to uh, the teacher want to achieve from that teaching okay is very important after that the teacher uh, does these things going the background organizing material so the correct option is a planning beforehand means there uh, like to make some aim to uh, like uh, some uh, some goals are there that the teacher want to achieve from the class okay now are you clear that why the option is not b why the correct yes. option is a yes ma'am also you discussed before one class yes, yes i have discussed you like many times Yes, yes, got it, ma'am. Okay, the second question: Information overload in the classroom environment by a teacher will lead to. Oh, there, you will, you will, you will, you will yeah. find, you will find certain questions in the uh, exam that you have to deal with your common sense. Okay. Ma'am, four. 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 So the correct answer is four, because if the information is overloaded, the learner will engage in processing the information, so the feedback will be delayed. Okay. These are the things that will positively affect the teaching. like high level of participation will up, up, uh, will exert a positive impact semantic precision like precision word is there na so some positive thing is there effective impression positive thing so these are not possible if the information is overloaded in the classroom so the correct option is delayed feedback right yes sir so next which of the following are classroom related factors that influence effectiveness of teaching always solve these type of question with the help of elimination technique don't go with your knowledge always solve with elimination technique like for example cultural background of student okay this have uh, like cultural background 
is not related to effective effectiveness of teaching it does not come like positive or negative impact on effectiveness of, of teaching so like if there is uh, e in certain options i will eliminate that option so have this question like this okay with the help of elimination technique and one more thing one clue i want to give you that like if in that influence effectiveness of teaching so you can uh, all pick the options that is negatively affecting the teaching as well as positively affecting the teaching okay ma'am c in option c a b d here it is written influence so influence can be positive can be negative what what you have uh, told what is the correct answer c c c a b and d okay now just tell me that which option will influence the teaching in a positive manner and which option will influence the teaching in a negative manner ma'am this so, can uh, be positive speak one by one Okay, so this, yeah, ma'am. Option those inappropriate use of technological resources by the teacher it will affect negatively, okay. and uh, this uh, uh, A and B will positively affect. No, no, no. Adherence to linear pattern of common linear pattern of communication. Uh, the communication class is going or or not? No. no ma'am okay so in communication class you will study like different pattern of communication so linear pattern of communication affects negatively the effectiveness of teaching okay and also they can frame questions like uh, um, which of the following option influence the if uh, influ influence negatively the teaching okay or they can frame question like uh, pick out the options which influence the <clears throat> teaching positively so you uh, should know that that what the things are, there what are certain things that are affecting positively that are affecting negatively so adherence to linear pattern so it will affect the influence the teaching negatively right prior task related behavior positively so the correct option is a b and d this is your homework you have to study about what is the linear pattern of communication okay in the communication class you will study about it but this is your homework now here you have to study on your own that is what is the linear pattern of communication clear now or uh, the next question <coughs> which of the following factors does not impact teaching option 2 option 2 social economic factor of teacher and student clear this is a correct option social and economic factor of teacher and student does not impact teaching okay identify the factors affecting teaching here see they have written the word positive identify the factors affecting teaching related to positive learning environment in an institution Ma'am, A, A and C. Other people also answer. What will be the answer?
Okay. See here, all the options are correct. Here you are seeing this now that all the options are correct. But when all the options are correct, what you need to do? You need to look at the question. Like what they are asking in the question. They are asking about the environment. Okay. Learning environment. Environment means related like the ambience near, or near uh, where the learning and teaching is happening. Okay. So you have to pick your options uh, in with respect to environment. So the option B and D is absolutely correct. Option B is what? The scope for sharing and open discussion here within the classroom and the institutions. Okay. If the uh, like in the class and uh, in the institution means outside the class also. So here this option is dealing with the environment thing. And the D is frequent use of positive reinforces either the institution or the classroom. Here this option is also dealing with the environment. Okay. Now clear why the option is D. So they can ask this type of question. Here all the options are correct. All these options, all these things will help in teaching learning. But they are asking with respect to the environment. Who, who answered the D, like B and D? Mamai. What's your name? Deepam. Deepam. OK, very good, Deepam. You are not there in the classroom, I think, no? Like for two or two. Last two, three sessions, where I have missed, I have been watching the YouTube videos. OK. So now this is clear now why the option D is correct. Yes, Very good, Deepam. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma While answering these type of questions where all the options are correct, just look at the question. Okay. Okay, ma'am. A successful teacher is one who is. Um, yeah. First, first, very easy question. You don't have to think that much. Okay, a yes, teacher sir. and quiet is not possible. Okay, teacher and passive is not possible. Dominating teacher is not successful. So the correct answer is one, compassionate and disciplinarian. And one more thing: these all are previous questions. I'm telling you in every class that these are previous questions. Okay, just try to solve more and more questions. Now the next question, read very carefully this question. When the learning outcomes, when the learning outcomes of students are ensured with employment of less resources, okay, like they are getting the outcomes with the employment of less resources and less effort on the part of teacher and more initiative for self-learning is evident. Which of the following expression will describe the teacher most appropriately? Option four. Option three, I guess. Other answers? Answer everyone, please answer. Ma'am, option four. Ma'am, second. Who answered second? Ma'am, me. See, I'm not able to like identify you with your voices. Sakshi. So, okay, Sakshi. I'm sorry. Sakshi. Sakshi. Okay, so correct. Teacher is effective. Here, yeah. learning outcomes like their goals are the goals, the predetermined goals of teacher is 
uh, the uh, teacher is able to achieve the goals with the employment of less resource okay like they are using the less resource that are required and less efforts but the but they are like getting the outcomes so it means that the teacher the teacher or the teaching is effective okay this is the correct answer clear this question is clear now yes ma'am okay so this these type of questions are tricky why these are tricky because all the options are correct okay there is just a very you know minute line between the options so that is why these questions are tricky like this question is easy but this question and this question is tricky so solve these questions with you know smartly now uh, this was a question reflective practice implies use of one here cognition metacognition metacognition on cognition reinforcement or learning here uh, i will explain you this question you don't you need not to answer this question uh, cognition means i have told you like related to thinking ability right mental ability cognition so reflective practice means the highest level of teaching or learning okay reflective teaching it involves the critical thinking also and all the other like um, in the uh, reflective level of teaching the critical thinking was there and all the other things of ult and mlt were also present in the reflective level of teaching so cognition means thinking ability meta cognition you know what is the word uh, metaverse very common word you know what the metaverse is yeah like virtual reality kind of thing ma'am virtual reality like a, a universe within a universe that is meta universe no metaverse what you say so meta cognition means if i am if i am thinking about my thinking then you will say that this is meta cognition okay like i am conscious about the thinking it means that i am thinking about my thinking okay so this is meta cognition meta cognition on cognition this is one advanced level okay and uh, reinforcement on learning so here reflective principle you know just cognition is not enough for the reflective practice because in reflective practice there are, there is the memory level as well as the understanding level so the correct option will be meta cognition means that we are thinking about our thinking we are conscious about our thinking so that is the reflective practice reflective level of teaching i have explained it here when a person thinks about something using his mental ability so here cognition is just thinking okay now meta cognition like thinking about thinking about something using his mental ability it is said to be cognition uh said to be cognition ability of a person meta cognition is an ability to think about your thinking okay like you are whether you are thinking right whether you are thinking wrong like what are the impacts of your thinking okay these all things will come under meta cognition so when someone reflects on the thoughts and think about the actions okay this act of self evaluation like you you are evaluating the outcomes of your thinking it means that you are thinking about your thinking okay so that is the meta cognition and that is the answer is it clear or any doubt clear ma'am yes ma'am clear ma'am not clear Uh, like can you tell me that uh, up to what level you are ab able to understand this i have understood this cognition like thinking mental mentally think like thinking yeah meta cognition thinking about own thinking like conscious about own being like you are thinking wrong or right then meta cognition on cognition this is what this is further 
more like we are more involved in the thinking process meta cognition on cognition so my answer is meta cognition yes the answer is meta cognition okay. which among the following things a teacher should keep in mind while teaching okay one more thing first to uh, yeah. these are the maxims of teaching okay they just well, like uh, questions are there from these the from the maxims itself okay um this is not given in the syllabus but they have asked questions from this so what are the maxims of uh, teaching like what a teacher should keep in mind while uh, teaching the student that the teacher should move from easy to complex thing like uh, have you seen the ex exercises like mathematical exercises have you seen the exercises like suppose exercise 7.1 okay so in 7.1 the first question is of very easy level the second question is easy level the third and fourth fifth questions are moderate level and the questions that are present in the last of exercise that are you can say that difficult level that level of difficulty in the questions that are present in last of the exercise is high okay so these are the maxims of the teaching like while teaching the teacher should move forward from easy to complex okay have you seen this thing na, in mathematical in mathematics books the questions that are present at number 1 2 3 are easy question yes ma'am so they, they are they are following the maxims of teaching so easy to complex from known to unknown teacher first told the student about the things that is known okay like teacher first try to engage them because if the teacher is telling them about the things the uh, the learner already knew they are just engaged in that thing okay so the the teaching should go from uh, go from known to unknown from whole to part and this was given by jessalt so it means that while uh, like if i want to explain you about a cycle bicycle okay so first i will show you the picture okay so this is the cycle now in this cycle this is the like um, handle this is the paddle this is that this is that okay like uh, in in science book if they if they want to teach you about the plant okay so they first give you a picture of a plant okay and after they label like this is the uh, this is the petal this is the leaf this is the root this is the stem branch okay they are not uh, giving you pictures like the picture of leaf on one page picture of root on another page picture of leaf on another page they just give the picture in a whole and then explain about the parts so this is a maxim of teaching like from whole to the parts okay uh, this is like uh, i've written it wrongly this uh, should be from concrete to abstract okay from concrete to abstract means first <coughs> the teacher should give you example and if i'm giving you example is a concrete thing okay and after that Uh, like uh, if i am teaching you pythagoras theorem okay if i am teaching you pythagoras theorem and uh, so before teaching if i explain that uh, this side is 2 this side is 3 what will be the this side okay then this is a general thing okay and i am just applying a formula that hypotenuse ka square equals to perpendicular ka square plus base ka square so if i am explaining you this formula with the help of this example so i have just taken the random random numbers okay so this is the concrete thing because i am going with the random numbers and after that like there are many more examples like a tree is broken from here and height is this and that and we are going to the abstract things so this is uh, i've written this wrong this is from concrete to abstract 
the maxim in maxim of teaching uh, the rule is that the teacher should go from concrete to the abstract things okay this is just like known to unknown because the things that are known means that are concrete things and the unknown that is the abstract thing okay so these four are known as the maxims of teaching this is clear what are the maxims of teaching yes ma'am ma'am ma from yes. whole to part there is a word guessed out what is this the name of the scientist educationist okay okay the style philosophy now solve this question Ma'am C. Yes, ma'am C. Very good. The answer is C. Uh, should approach from simple to complex. Okay. Plan the lesson to flow from seen to unseen. And here, this is wrong. No? Uh, should proceed from concrete to abstract, and should flow from known to unknown. So the correct option is C. Which of the following does not belong to effective teaching? Does not belong. <clears throat> it's an easy question. Answer fast. Mem B, B and C. B, madam. C and D. Who answered C and D? Sir, C and D. B and C. Sarika. Sarika, very good. Okay. So here, does not belong to effective teaching. Teaching is a tool to help students to adapt themselves in society and the environment. So 100% true statement. Why you are saying that this does not belong to effective teaching? This statement is 100% correct. Teaching is a one-time process. This is wrong. Okay. And see, teacher can teach in an effective manner if he or she has some knowledge of the subject. This statement it itself not 100%. If the teacher has some knowledge of the subject, can he or she teach effectively? The teacher must have the full knowledge of the subject. The teacher should be the expertise of the subject in order to teach effectively, right? This statement itself is not 100% correct. They have written some here, okay? So how the teacher with some knowledge of the subject can teach effectively? The teacher can teach if he or she has some knowledge, but he can't teach effectively. Hope you are getting my point. So the correct option is C and D. C option is correct, right? Yes, ma'am. Am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Clear, ma'am. But yes, ma'am. Which among the following is not a characteristic of a good teacher? Answer very quickly, a. very easy question. A, a ma'am. Okay. Correct answer is A, authoritarian in the classroom. So, let's do it. We have done this. Teaching, concept, objective, everything is there. We have completed. Learner's characteristic, we have completed. Okay, characteristics of adolescents and adult learners on the basis of these four things. Academic, social, emotional, cognitive, individual differences. Now, today we have done this. Factors affecting teaching related to teacher, learner, support material, instruction facilities, learning environment, and institutions. These, these are in your, these are now present in your syllabus and we have studied this topic with respect to these things okay we have completed this methods of teaching in higher learning institutions and completed this thing okay so we are left with only these two headings teaching support system evaluation system
so in the next class we will go on with teaching support system okay and we will complete uh, this thing in one class only okay so only i think uh, two or three classes are left for the um teaching aptitude ma'am yes what 